Alright guys, so we got one more product that Doug was telling me about and said we gotta get this on camera so people can see it also. So what are we looking at, Doug? So we actually released a new electric violin this year. Uh, we're really happy to say it won the NAM product of the year. So it's actually the most interesting new product here at the NAM show of all products of all brands. So all the products at NAM, everything. Yes. This won the top honors best in show. Yes, best in all right, show. Let's check it out. So I'm excited. This is it here. This is the YEV 104 electric violin. So you see, it's got a totally different look from any uh, silent or electric violin that, that we've ever created, or really that anybody has. Uh, it's all wood. There's actually six different wood types included in here. Uh, we have it in four string and five string. Okay. But it's, it's really simple. I mean, it's just a quarter inch jack that plugs right in, so it's just like a guitar. It needs to go to an amplifier and mix or something like that. But it is uh, something we're really, really that's incredible. Yeah. Can I can I just feel how heavy yeah. it is? Yeah. Oh, super light. Well, actually, it's about the same weight as a acoustic, acoustic violin. Yeah. So not the to feel. mention this dimension here and here are almost identical to an acoustic violin. So you can use your own chin rest or your own shoulder rest. Wow. So it feels like an acoustic when it's actually on your shoulder. The transfer from their usual axe to this one is right. going to be very similar. Right. It's not just a stick. You know, it, yep. it really feels like an instrument. Everywhere the hand touches, even here, that all feels like a violin should feel. Nice. Yeah. So it's actually we have natural. No, we've got a piano gloss black. Okay. The thing that I noticed at this too, just looking at it up close, is that the design, usually when you get electronic instruments, they want to look very futuristic. Right. But this has still the artistic design of a handcrafted wood instrument. Yeah. It, but it with does. the electronic capabilities. It does. And one of the things that we've been talking about this week a little bit is the cool story. One of the designers that was working on this got moved to where he was sitting next to the guitar guys, the <laughs> guitar designers. So the guitar designers are looking over his shoulder when he's working on EV and SD products and saying, hey, you know, you should try this. You know, hey, guitars, we do this, so try that. So there's actually some inspiration there. You can see that, you know, the different inlays, which is yeah. a lot of, and even the bending of the wood. Yeah. This is methods that they yeah. use in the guitar process. Yeah. That's awesome. What is this called again? YEB 104. YEB 104. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Doug. Yeah. Alright, play something for us now. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's all I got. We can have Heather play for you, but that's yeah. String four, it's, uh, just to give you a bigger range for fun. Yeah, for fun. <laughs> just to mess with you. Well, it's like if you really need to get some viola range. Or uh, okay, range, I see, I see. You, you got your range. You want to get your Victor Wooten on. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. And a lot of the solos will use it when they're improvising. Yeah. Yeah, it's not for orchestral music. Obviously, it's not written for that. But, yeah. Um, you know, if you're improvising, you just want to play lower. Is this being, it's running, being run through this amp? Yeah. What is this amp here? That's a THR10. Okay. Uh, that's, you know, really just a clean, simple, nice, like, small amp. Yep. It has a few built-in effects. This, I'm playing just flat right now with a little bit of reverb. Yep. And uh, you can find it for around $300. Right. So when would you use this setup if you're playing, I mean, if you showed up to an orchestra rehearsal with this, people would laugh at you. Well, they would laugh and just go, why are you doing that? What, are, what are you doing? Orchestral music doesn't require electric amp. <laughs> right, right, right. So this is like solo shows, recording at home. Yeah. Uh, playing with your friends in a band, playing yeah. in any situation that a guitar player would want to play in. Yeah. Um, just wanted to play louder. Yeah, yeah. You know, let's, let's give a wedding gig and you got to play solo violin outside. Yeah. It's hard to do that with an acoustic yep. and control the sound really well. So, right. You know, the more violin-y, the better. like an electric guitar sound. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. But anything, you know, it could be any effects that you can put on any of my instrument. Yeah, so now you're running it through Ableton, you can sequence it, you can loop it. Exactly. Awesome. That's so cool. Um, would you ever use this as a practice violin at home? Because if you don't plug it in, then what does it sound like when it's not plugged in?
not. So you can hear yourself, but you're not yeah, going to bother your neighbors. Right, but I, I don't have a headphone jack to listen to myself. Yeah. But um, I can hear the strings vibrating. Yeah. And I could plug myself in here. Yeah. And hear a headphone through there if perfect. I turn it down. It's perfect. Yeah. So you hook it up to like an Apogee One. Right into that. You got your headphone cue and you're practicing in the hotel room. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That's so cool. Awesome. Well, thanks for showing us that, Heather. Appreciate it. Thank you. Heather's our resident Canadian. Resident Canadian? Oh, you always got me up here. You're talking. Have you gotten sick of that yet? No. 